Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson. Today, I want to dive into a topic that I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, Elon Musk's Neuralink. I'm going to kind of unpack a little bit concerns, controversies. This brain computer that's connecting our brain to technological pieces of equipment to be able to control it. And I don't know how I feel yet. So let's dive into it. All right. So Elon Musk's Neuralink has recently sparked both excitement and some skepticism because it claims that it has groundbreaking brain chip implants and that these claims are trying to decide, or is it too good to be true? First, let's address the elephant in the room, the claims to proof gap. So Elon has you know, said that there are remarkable achievements, such as enab- enabling a subject to control a computer mouse with their thoughts. All right, Professor X, are we there yet? I, I don't know. However, many in the medical community, they're skeptical uh, due to the lack of concrete evidence that support Elon's claims with this. So uh, Musk's history of overpromising and under-delivering kind of is starting to kind of rear its head here. It's understandable why some are cautious with this major breakthrough. And another major concern is that there's a lack of transparency and communication from Neuralink, the company. The medical community, it's troubled by the limited amount of information that's provided about the trials and absence of peer-reviewed data. You know, medical community, a lot of them are trying to do good, but we really take that with a grain of salt. When there's not enough trials for things that we just throw out there because we want to protect, quote-unquote, protect people, even without trials of a jab or, you know, <laughs> just saying. They're worried about not having enough trials and peer-reviewed data, but yet we had the COVID vaccine. So, uh, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. They said this lack of openness, though, raises questions because of the safety and efficacy of the technology within the Neuralink. Again, I don't know where, you know, it's the big farm, right? You have to kind of, look at things from a bigger perspective. And additionally, there have been some past incidents, um, like specifically with animal testings that have raised some red flags. Uh, Neuralink has faced backlash after a series of bad, unfortunate monkey deaths during the early testing phases. Which again, if this was someone within Big Pharma doing these things, we probably wouldn't even know about any of this. And they've definitely killed some animals with what they've done. Not, not, uh, yeah, definitely, for sure. So, again, this is Big Pharma, medical community we're listening to, because Neuralink is going to probably cost them money in the long run, if we think about it. But that's still here nor there. So, but during earlier testing phases, um, yeah, these monkeys died, apparently. So, they're pushing that out there. Watch out for PETA. Yeah, so, watch out, Musk. Like he cares. Uh, while Musk, though, denies that there are any link between the deaths and the implants, the Securities and Exchange Commission has contradicted his claims. Well, yeah, Securities and Exchange Commission, sure. Again, who who do you believe, right, with everything that's happened in the past? Moreover, Neuralink's achievements so far, they're not entirely groundbreaking, actually. So the brain-computer interface implants that are capable of similar feats have already existed for multiple years. Exactly. So without more transparency about Neuralink's methods and capabilities, it's unclear really if there's truly any boundary pushing going on with this technology. So they are concerned with not there's no transparency with Neuralink, but this has been happening for multiple years. They have these things already going on that's probably connected to Big Pharma and Securities and Exchange Council. Like, It's probably just not, they don't have control over it, so they don't like it, and they don't want it to happen, in my opinion. So, 
obviously they probably killed some monkeys on their own with these interfaces that have already been out there for multiple years. We just haven't heard of them, most likely. So while Elon's Neuralink promises to revolutionize brain-commuter interfaces, there are still some concerns, obviously, that we have to address. You know, transparency, safety, ethical considerations, these are all paramount as we navigate the future of this technology and other technologies that are coming out. And just like anything, we, you know, anything new like this, AI, robotics, Neuralinks, like it's concerning. Good and bad can come from it. I don't know if I'm for implanting something in people's brains to control other things when do we really, sorry, Elon, but do we really trust what's being put in these implants? Could they be implanted and then control us? Yeah, I know. Call me conspiracy theorist on this, but like that just is a little, uh, I'm not too keen on those kind of things. I don't want people messing with my brain. Um, even through the guise of it's supposed to be helping. And I know there could be good that comes from it. Okay, I, I get that. But we really walk in a, a tight line with this. Um, when Where does it stop? Does it stop like ever? I know there are talks about, I don't know how to word it, but canning, you know, bottling up consciousness and moving it to other uh, entities. And having that, that, connecting it to AI. Have you seen, you know, Captain America when he goes and talks to the German scientist through the TV who's been dead for a while, but it seems his conscious is still in the machine. Like, that's things that they're trying to do and that these Neuralink type implants have been around for years and years and we necessarily haven't heard of them, the normal population, until Elon steps out and does it on his own away from Big Pharma and uh, the medical community. Now we're starting to hear that it's not safe and it not transparency, no, not enough transparency and all this, like, and monkeys are dying, like, hate that the monkeys are dying, okay? Yeah. But the ones that have been going on that are probably connected straight to the medical community and pharma, big pharma, probably have killed a lot more than Elon has, if he actually has, because he says he hasn't. So, I don't know, there's a lot going on in our lives. You know, we want to elevate our lives, right? We want to improve ourselves, our health, our mindsets. And I don't know if this is the path. I don't know if this Neuralink is the way we should go doing that. I think we're just trying to do things outside of what we're supposed to. I don't know. It's a it's a gray area for me right now. I haven't done enough research to really get a solid opinion. But just from what I do know, I'm not really for it. I get it. I don't because there is evil and because there is bad in the world. You know. Our computers, our 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 um, pharmacies, our businesses—they get hacked online through tech, through hardware like this, from people who want to do harm. So, what I need to know: what rock solid, unbreakable, unhackable technology that they're going to use for people, so that can't happen to a Neuralink? You get what I'm saying? What if this Neuralink's created and it gets hacked and it somehow, and maybe I'm getting it wrong, maybe it can't do this, but I'm sure it could, send impulses the other way to have someone do something they shouldn't, to take action in a way that they wouldn't normally because it was hacked and it's programmed, or if it was just hacked and it kills someone. Like, I don't know, I think Mission Impossible stuff, you know, the, the bomb in the brain and they have to get it out. Like, my mind is all these things. I, I truly think movies tell us, things that are going to happen in the future before they happen. Again, call me because severe theorist, whatever. Um, but it's happened. And so it's like these kind of things, like I just don't want people messing with my brain. <laughs> I don't want people in my head. So yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on this. What do you think? Let me know below in the video or if you're listening to the audio version, uh, send me a message on Instagram, at chris.t.anderson. You know, love to communicate about it. Tell me I'm wrong. That's fine. That's cool. I'm, everyone's got their opinions. Um, agree with me, whichever. Doesn't matter. He's their way because uh, I still have my opinion and, and what I believe. And uh, as you're saying, we're in interesting times with, you know, self-preservation and self-development, personal development type things. We're having more access and knowledge to, you know, medical feats that are going to help us hopefully live longer and, and overcome diseases and i think 
you know, that's wonderful. I think in the next 10 years, we're going to be able to almost cure any disease out there uh, through AI and its self-learning capabilities. We're going to learn so much from it and uncover things. And with robotics, I met someone just the other day that they're, they're doing wires that are used for medical devices that go in the body and can't de- decay and things. And, you know, getting to the point where those wires eventually will understand how to um, graft into the nervous system and use these wires to bypass broken nerve endings. So paralyzed people could walk again, could use their limbs again, because we can hook into the nerves where they work and the electrical impulses from the nerves can travel down these man-made wires to the rest of the body. Like we will get there. I truly believe so. Because if I can think it, I know people a lot smarter than me are thinking about it. So uh, it's just really interesting where we are with technology and self, um, self growth, personal development. So love to hear your thoughts on this. Again, it was just, it's a different kind of episode, but it has to do with elevating our lives. Uh, I mean, cause these implants are supposed to help other people in their lives, um, do things that they can't do right now. So I wanted to touch on it. Uh, I just, I'm not for the Neuralink right now. I think it's a dangerous tool. I think it's a dangerous game we're playing when we're implanting something in someone's brain and not knowing the true consequences or security of that device and what it could turn into. So that's all for today. I hope you get you thinking a little bit. I'm going to be outside the box. Make sure you do a little bit more due diligence and and dive into this on your own and uh, formulate your own opinion on it. But until next time, continue to go out there, dive into what's going on in the world, continue to elevate your life, elevate your brand, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.